Hey YouTube, in today's video I share a how to build an IKEA Leotorp bookshelf or build-in. I also have a couple IKEA hacks to share with you in the building process. This DIY IKEA bookshelf is pretty simple to build, but we all know how vague the IKEA furniture instructions can be. So today I share with you the step-by-step -step how to on this IKEA Leotorp bookshelf. So if you're curious to see how it turns out, then keep on watching. So to get right started, we first laid out all the pieces on the floor. And these two sideboards, these are the long ends of the shelf itself. My husband had already inserted the hardware it came with. In the middle are the actual shelves. These are solid wood. I wanted to point that out. I want to take you over here with me to share with you the beautiful detail of this bookshelf and what sold me on this bookshelf. Look at this beautiful wainscoting. I love the wainscoting. It's such a classic look. And it also came with this beautiful molding, which I'm showing you right here. I mean, the detail on this IKEA bookshelf is just so gorgeous. It's like no other shelf that I looked at. Now, just moving right into this here, as I said, my husband had already put the metal hardware into the long boards. And here you will see there's holes in every corner of the shelves themselves. I need to insert these little metal pieces and I'm going to share a hack with you real quick before we get started doing that. So here's a little hack I want to share with you. This metal piece here, if you notice there is an arrow at the top of it, you want to make sure when you're inserting these in the corner holes that the arrow is facing outward towards the edge of the shelf where the actual screw is going to be inserted because they have to be pointed straight in order for it to lock with the screwdriver. So you will see here, I do use a screwdriver to turn it, to set it up where the arrow is already pointing straight before the screw is inserted in. The next step is to take these little wooden dowels and insert them into these two center holes in the middle of the board. Now over to the corner, you can see the opening under that metal screw. That was the opening where the arrow needs to face. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool you around here and show you all the beautiful details that come in this bookshelf kit. So up top you'll see the long center molding piece that goes on the top and then here are the two side pieces that wrap around the top molding and um, this was actually flipped upside down but over here is the bottom side trim so there's another one that goes on the other side and then a long board that looks like that now these pieces here are the brackets that hold the inner shelving up and these i believe are solid wood so moving on to this bottom trim piece this goes on the side at the bottom of the shelf it comes with pre-drilled holes so as you can see here i've already filled three of the holes with this little plastic part so I'm gonna show you here how I do it. So you stick the plastic part into the hole and then you use this metal puncher tool that comes with the kit and you push it over the plastic part and then you wanna take a hammer and just give it a couple good whacks. Moving on to the center bottom trim piece. This is a pretty solid piece of wood. It's super thick, it's very sturdy. I just love the quality of this IKEA bookshelf. 
Anyways, if you turn it around, you will see that there are four L brackets that attach with a screw. I've already installed three of them for you. I'm going to demonstrate right here with the fourth one to show you how to do so. But this is such a sturdy, solid piece of wood. I'm just super pleased with the quality and the look of this Ikea bookshelf. Seriously, like you can't go wrong with this one. Well, the kids kind of got out of hand, so my husband decided to take over so I could deal with the kids. Anyways, right here, he is installing the stationary part of the shelving. So these parts of the shelving do not move. This is part of the structure and what holds it together in place. However, the rest of the shelving is movable. And there are so many options with this bookshelf. I love it. You can like do shorter shelves, wider shelves. You, can, you don't even have to install all the shelving. I love the options in this bookshelf. I just cannot wait to put it all together. So there are actually four of these stationary pieces that go inside. And over here you can see the extra shelving. And then here you can see the variety of holes where you have so many options to put the shelves. This track is what it's gonna, it's gonna attach right here. So now what are you doing? Lock in. Just locking locking each one of those in. That connects the parts. So next are these little black push-ins. You can just push them in with your finger. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert them in all of these holes that are along the edge of the back. This is gonna hold the backing into place. And then following this is a push pin that goes inside of it. So here he's attaching the legs or the risers to the bottom of the bookshelf and he just attaches it with a screw from on top of that bottom shelf, which you will see here. But make sure you guys watch through to the end so you can learn about a cool hack that has to do with these. Next, he is attaching the middle bottom piece of trim. And so he will just be attaching this with the screws that are underneath. Now, he wanted me to mention that Unless you are super handy and comfortable with a drill, do not use the drill. I used a screwdriver for all the work I did um, because if you're not used to using a drill, you could very well strip the wood out when you are putting them in. But if you are going to use a drill, just be very careful with that. So now he's gonna finish up the bottom part of the trim by attaching the two side pieces. So again, we're gonna use this piece that I had originally prepped with the little plastic parts. And there are a couple hacks that I wanna share with you that have to do with this part of the project. So the first hack is this piece has a tendency to fall off. So my hack is to apply a little bit of super glue 
directly on the little plastic parts and then when it gets inserted into the hole, it will stick better. So that is my hack or tip number one for this part of the project. Okay, and now for hack number two. If you notice, once he puts this piece on, you will see a gap at the top, like the seams are separated. And so the second hack I have for you is to hammer it in but you cannot hammer directly onto the wood board. So what you wanna do is either use a piece of cardboard or a glove like we are doing here and hammer it so that there is cushion in between, otherwise you could risk cracking your board. And so what this hack does is it helps close up the seam a lot better than it originally was. And with the super glue, it will keep it there permanently. And finally, my last hack for this part of the project is to just go ahead and fill it with some caulk or some wood glue. I will be filling the seam because with my OCD, this is driving me crazy. So now we're going to move it on up to the top of the bookshelf and we are going to install the molding for the front piece and for the sides, just like we did at the bottom. Well, actually, my husband's going to be doing it. <laughs> I also want to point out that the top molding went together perfectly. There was no need for super glue, there was no need for a hammer, and it just went together very well and the seam closed up nice and tight. We're falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. Falling, falling down, we faded. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out, Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot of breakers down, I know we are Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out, Alpha and Omega. It also came with these little white felt pads to put at the bottom of those legs. Like the waves pull you down underwater. We're fun until we hit the bottom. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. So to install the shelves, you first have to pushing these little metal pieces into the pre-cut holes. So there's two for each one. And then you will take this wood bracket and you will just match up the holes to the push pins and push it right in. And you want to repeat this on both sides for each shelf. And you can change all the different levels depending on where you want to place them. Then you just take the actual shelf top and place it right over. We're falling, we're falling down, we fading. But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega So this is an added really cool feature to this whole shelf system. If you see, I lift this here, there are two holes. You use one of those same metal push pins that we use for the brackets. Stick it in the center, push this down, and it locks the shelf in place. Falling, falling down. Well, here it is, finally finished with its beautiful timeless charm. I cannot wait to decorate this baby. We're also going to be building one for the right side of the fireplace. I just did not put it in this video. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you could see my next video, which will be a clean and fall decorate with me so I can decorate this beautiful baby right here. And I can't wait to share that with you. And thank you so much for hanging out and have a happy day.